welcome back. This is Miss Ari and I'm really excited to be back with another virtual journal prompt, part of our weekend writing series. Hopefully you've enjoyed participating in our programs that have been posted on our Boys and Girls Club of St. Marcos website, as well as YouTube page throughout this past week. And we hope you do continue to check back with their website for more programs throughout this next upcoming week. Today I will be reading another journal prompt question for you and I encourage you to take some time to think about your response to this question and write those thoughts down um, either right away or later on in the day when the um, answers come to you. What you will need for this activity are very simple. All you will need is something to write with. So a pen, a pencil, a marker, a crayon, a colored pencil, um, and then a piece of paper. It can be a blank piece of paper, lined, colored, anything that you'd like. So those are the only two things that you will need. And of course, a creative imagination. So today I will um, be reading a question and an example to that question so that you have um, kind of something to, to go off of. So let's go ahead and get started. Our question for today is what is your favorite sport, either to watch or to play? So sports are something that's been a part of my life for as long as I can remember. And I am really excited to share what my favorite sport is with you all, but something tells me you might have already guessed it. My favorite sport is soccer and I drew a big soccer ball on my page. So I will read a little bit about why I wrote soccer that is my favorite sport. So I grew up playing soccer since I was about five years old, which is kindergarten, first grade age. At first, I was very scared of the ball and of getting hurt. And actually the first season that I was signed up to play soccer, I did not play in any game till the last game of the whole season. I was too scared. But eventually and thankfully, I did overcome those fears um, and I went on to love soccer. I played soccer um, as part of AYSO at um, the rec league near my house um, from age five till about age 14. So right when I got into high school, I tried out for a club team and I played on this club team where we traveled and got to play in different tournaments um, all through high school. And I also played um, varsity in high school all the four years that I was in. Now after high school, some of you might know and some of you might not, I don't talk about this too often, but I actually did play soccer um, at UCLA where I went to college. I was a walk-on to the soccer program there, which means that I was not recruited to play at UCLA um, and I had to try out for the team many um, different days and be really persevering and, and committed in the process and I ended up making the team. So I played um, Division I soccer at UCLA for two years and um, actually my senior year we won the national championship. And what the national championship is, um, is the playoffs of college sports. So if you win the national championship, you are the best of the best that year in whatever sport you play. So I am super proud to have played soccer at UCLA and won a national championship. It's definitely something that I um, am very proud of. Now that I am not in college and working full time, I don't play soccer as competitively, but I do really love to play with you all at the club. So if there's ever a game that you are gonna start at the club um, at the um, in the courtyard, please come grab me and I would be so happy to play along with you. Um, but aside from that, soccer is always gonna be a huge part of my life. It has taught me so many amazing lessons like responsibility, accountability, how to be a good teammate and a, a positive leader. And I try to take those lessons that I've learned from the sport into um, working with you all. So that is just a quick um, example of the answer to what is your favorite sport but I would love to read some of your responses. So please feel free to take a picture of your response once you've written it down and send it to us at the email below. And myself and the other staff would love to read your thoughts and hear from you. Um, until the next time, we hope that you are staying healthy and happy at home and we are wishing you all the best. Take care.